everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new so in today's video we're going to be carrying on with this page from Rita Berman and I want to make a start on this um, pole coming off the boat because I actually forgot to do that last time and it is part of the boat so I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in and we'll get started so I'm going to go in with lavender 036 and I'm going to make a start on this pole here so I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat on this and get the color down After I finished last week's video, I looked and thought I should have done that the same colour as the boat. So that is what we are going to do. <laughs> and I think we'll do this stick that holds the sail the same so I'll go ahead and add a base coat onto this then taking purple lake I'm going to add some shadow into this so I'm going to run the shadow predominantly down the right hand side but places like here where we've got little marks above this little um like joining piece I'm going to darken up and then just run it up the right hand side of the pole so we'll add a bit underneath there and then just bring that down. For these little sort of um, joining pieces, I'm just going to darken up the right hand side. And we'll put some shade under here and again down the right hand side. And then for this top piece, I'm going to add a little bit of shade just underneath this little triangle and a tiny bit down the right hand side and the same for up here. So for this big pole, again, I'm going to shade here where the sails would be casting a bit of a shadow and right at the bottom where it joins to the boat. And then run this up the right hand side. And then for this little pole that's holding the sail, I'm going to go ahead and darken up just around where the sail clips on. So just these little edges here. Then I'm going to go back in with lavender and go ahead and fill in the left hand side. And then we've got this little sail up here. So again, I'm going to go in with lavender and do a base coat on this. Back in with purple lake and I'm going to darken up the edges again. Then going back in with lavender, I'm going to fill that in. Next, going in with azalea pink, I'm going to make a start on the flags and the sails because I want them to be pink so that we've got like pink decorated um, decorations on there because we did the curtains pink. So I'm going to go ahead and do a nice base coat on this flag here and just lay the initial colour down. And I'm going to do this to match. Then going in with Bengal Rose Deep, I'm going to add some shade to this. 
So I'm going to start by adding some shade up here to the right hand side. So I'm just going to drag this all along the very edge. And we'll darken up this top corner as well. And just sort of bring this colour out. And then I'm going to start to lift the pressure so that it's easier to blend. We'll add a little bit of shadow down here. And then lift the pressure. I'm going to bring this down a little bit further on this top edge and bottom edge. Then for this little swirl that we've got up here, I'm going to darken up the top edge. And this edge here where it would be in shadow from itself. And we'll add a little bit onto this bottom tip. Going back in with Azalea Pink, I'm going to go ahead and start to blend this out. So I'm going to take it over the Bengal Rose and start to bring this towards the middle. And then I'm going to leave that patch there where we left the lightest pressure just so that we've got a little bit of a highlight there. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and fill in this top section. And then here, I'm going to take it over the darker colour. And just leave the lightest colour in the middle of that section too, so that we've got a little highlight in there. So next, we're going to move on to these ones. So I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat with the Azalea Pink. Then going in with Bengal Rose Deep, we're going to add some shade to this. So for these ones, I'm going to darken up these corner bits here and sort of drag this over the lines that Rita's drawn in just to give these lines a little bit more definition, just make them a little bit longer and just darken up the very edges. We'll add a little bit here. So I'll do the same for this one. Then going back in with Azalea Pink, I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. So I'm just going to go over where we added the darker pink first. And then what I'll do is leave the lightest pink section in the middle so that we've got like a natural highlight in the middle. So we'll do the same for this one. So just sort of darken up over where you added the shade. And bring it towards the middle. And then just leave a natural little highlight down the middle where the lightest color was. So staying with Azalea Pink, we're going to go ahead and do a base coat on these sails here. Back in with Bengal Rose Deep to add in the shadow. So again, we're going to do similar to the top. So I'm going to darken up the edges on both sides. And then I'm going to add a darker bit over the lines that have been drawn in. So we'll do the same for this one, darken up the edges. And just follow the lines already in there. Going back in with Azalea Pink, I'm going to go ahead and darken up where we added the shadow colour. 
And again, just leave a little bit of highlight in the middle, just so it looks like that the light's catching. And then I'm going to use Bengal Rose Deep just to fill in these tiny little bits of sail that have sort of gone over the top here and the little hoops that hook the sail on. Okay, so next we're going to tackle this bit and I'm going to make it the same as the flags. So I'll go ahead and do our azalea base coat. Then going in with Bengal Rose Deep, I'm going to add some shadow to this. So for this one, the light's coming from this way, so it would cast a bit of a shadow onto this side. So I'm going to start by darkening up this side here where the pole would be casting a shadow. And then I'm going to darken up the bottom edge as well. And then for this one, the shadow would be on this side as well, closest to the pole. So we'll darken that up. And then again, I'm just going to darken up the bottom section. Then going back in with the Zalia pink, I'm going to go ahead and go over the darker pink. And again, just leave a little highlight there in the middle where the sun's catching. This one wouldn't have a highlight because it would be pushed further back in the shades. I'm going to fill this one in completely. And then we need to fill this bit in and I've got a feeling that this would be the same color as the pole. So I'm going to go in with lavender and do a base coat on this. Then taking purple lake, I'm going to add some shade. So I'm going to shade along the bottom and then up the right hand side and then I'm going to add some shade along this top edge here where the sail would be cast in a bit of a shadow and then I'm just going to lift the pressure so that this blends out nicely with the other purple so going back in with lavender, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. Then going in with our black pencil, I'm just going to add a little bit more shadow just to this right hand side and the very bottom edge and the very top edge just to really darken up that shadow. And I'm only using light pressure for this. Okay, so that's our little sail done. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to the tulips and I've decided to do them blue. So I'm gonna go in with Cobalt Turquoise 048. And what I'm gonna do is use this as our base color. So I'm gonna do really light pressure and just add this color down all over the flower so that we've got this nice, really light blue underneath. Then I'm going to go in with Mauve 093 and I'm going to add a little bit of a purple tint to these. So what I'm going to do is just randomly place this purple in just to add a little bit more colour to them. So I'm just going to just take this up this edge here, darken up this side. And then I think we'll add some just over here and sort of down towards the bottom. Bring it up the edge a little bit. And we'll do a little bit on the right hand side of this one in the back. Then going in with Cerulean Blue Middle, I'm going to add some shade to this. So I want the darkest part to be at the bottom here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some of this colour in down the bottom. Just bring it slightly up the flower where we've got these lines just to sort of darken this up. I'm going to bring this along this edge here as well to darken up this back section and we'll add a little bit of shade into the bottom of here 
And then I'm gonna go back in with mauve and go ahead and blend this into the darker blue. And then back in with cobalt turquoise and I'm going to go ahead and go over the mauve. I'm not taking it all the way over, I'm just taking it over a little bit at the top edge so that we've still got that mauve colour in there but just blending it together a little bit nicer. And then right at the top here, I'm just going to take it quite close to the tip, but leave the tip as the lightest colour. And then I'm just going to run this along this joining edge just to add a little bit of shadow in there. And then going back in with our darker shade, we're going to go ahead and fill in the stem for the uh, tulip so that this is the darkest colour. And that's our first little tulip done. So I've just zoomed you in a little bit more so that you can see a little bit better. And we're going to go in with cobalt turquoise and go ahead and do our base coat on this one. Then I'm going to go in with mauve and add some purple to this. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of purple up this right hand side of this petal. And you can really just place this colour wherever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be in any sort of particular order because all flowers are different. So it's nice to have a little bit of different colours on them. Then take in cerulean blue middle, our darkest shade. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the little stem that you can see here and then start to darken up all the bottom section of the flower then back in with cobalt turquoise I'm going to go ahead and add a bit more pressure to some of these petals so I'm going to take this along the mauve and over the mauve as well, just so that it adds a bit more of a blue tone to it. And take it up this one a little bit further. And a little bit on this edge. And then for the tips, I'm literally just going to do little up and down motions with lighter pressure, just so that we can leave the lighter colour in the background to give us that little bit of a highlight. So we've got a couple more down here. So I'm going to do the same, go in with cobalt turquoise and do a base coat on these. Then going in with mauve, I'm going to add some mauve to them. So I'm going to add a little bit here to this one and a little bit to this right hand side as well I think add that in there and a little bit here just randomly and then for this one we'll add a little bit here a little bit here some on this side and we'll do a little bit up here Going back in with Cerulean Blue Middle, our darkest colour. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the stems and darken up the bottom pieces of the flower. And we'll add a little bit to the bottom of here because that would be in a little bit of shadow. And then I'm just going to run this up this edge here because this would cast a bit of a shadow as well. Then back in with cobalt turquoise and go ahead and add some more of this in. And again, I'm just going to leave the lightest colour at the tip of the flower, so that's the lightest part. So I'll go ahead and do the same for this one, add a bit more of this colour in. So that's 
that first four done on that side. So I'm going to repeat the same for this side and just add in these colours because I want these to match this side. So going in with cobalt turquoise, I'm going to do a base coat on all of these. Then going in with mauve, I'm going to add some of this colour to these flowers as well. So again, I'm just going to sort of randomly place it where I want it to be. Anywhere where I think a little bit of purple, purpley blue would look nice. Then taking cerulean blue middle, I'm going to go ahead and add the shade to the bottom of the flowers and fill in the stems. Then going back in with cobalt turquoise, I'm going to go ahead and add some more of this colour. So again, I'm just going to sort of focus it mainly on the bottom sections and just lift the pressure as you come right up to the top so that we keep that nice light blue at the top. Just going to go back over with mauve and just darken up the purple a little bit. Okay, and that's our tulips done. And I've just realised that I've missed part of the stem here. So I'm going to use a cerulean blue middle and just fill in this little bit of stem. Okay, so for the leaves for the tulip, I want to make them like a bluey green colour. So I'm going to go in with cobalt turquoise green and go ahead and do a base coat on the leaves for these. So I'm just going to use light pressure and just add this colour in onto these leaves. Then taking teal green light, I'm going to start to add some shade to these. So I want to darken up this little edge piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just using normal pressure. 
so that these little edges are the darkest. And then I'm going to add some shade. So I'm going to shade here from this bunting and I'm going to shade at the bottom section where this leaf would cast a shadow. Again, we'll add some on the bottom here where the flower would cast a bit of a shadow. Do the same here. And then just up here a little bit. And then for these ones, we'll fill in this bottom piece underneath the ribbon and then start to lift the pressure up here. And then down here, we'll give this one a bit of shade at the bottom and along the edge of the flower. This bit here would all be a bit darker, so I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to go back in with cobalt turquoise green and go ahead and blend this out. I'm going to leave a lighter patch at the top. That one I'm going to fill in because it's quite far back behind everything. And this one too as well. I think that one would be darker. So we'll fill them ones in. Then going in with our white pencil, I'm going to go ahead and blend this top section together so that this is a nice gradient. We'll do the same here and for this little one here and then for this little patch here that we left. So going back in with teal green light, I'm going to go ahead and add the shade to these leaves over this side. So I'm going to darken up the edges again like we did on the opposite side. So I'm just going to fill these in with normal pressure. And then I'm going to add the shade to the bottom. We'll add a bit along here from that stem. And for this one, we'll shade the bottom edge and along the edge of this flower where that would be cast in a bit of a shadow. Add some to the bottom here. And then this one here would have a shadow all the way around the flower. Then going back in with cobalt turquoise green, I'm going to go ahead and blend this up. And then for this one, because it curls round, I'm going to darken up this top edge here and then leave the highlight in the middle there. So I'm just going to add a little bit more colour to that. So really light pressure. And then I'm going to go back in with our white pencil and go ahead and blend out our highlight. Okay, next I'm going to move on to this bunting and I want it to match the sails. So I'm going to go in with azalea pink and do a base coat on these little triangles of bunting. Then going in with Bengal Rose Deep, I'm going to add some shadows. So I want to darken up the top edges because I feel like this would be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to run this colour along the very top edge of each of these little bunting triangles. And then I'm going to darken up the right hand side. So I'm just going to run this 
along the right hand side of each one. And then I'm going to start to lift the pressure but bring the colour out across the bunting. Then back in with azalea pink and I'm going to go ahead and go over the darker colour and then just bring this slightly further forwards and again leave the lightest colour shining on the very edge just to give us a little highlight. So we'll go ahead and do the same for all of these. And then going back in with Bengal Rose Deep, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the little string that the um, bunting is on. So I'm just going to use normal pressure and fill that in. So I've got quite a sharp point on the pencil to do this. And then over this side, we haven't got any bunting on it, but I'm going to fill this in with the Bengal Rose as well, just so that it matches on each side. Next, going in with lavender, I'm going to make a start on filling in this post here because I feel like this should match the boat. So I'm going to do a base coat on this. And we'll do the same for this one on this side. Then going in with Purple Lake, I'm going to add the shade to this. So again, I'm going to focus it on the right hand side. And a little bit at the bottom. And we'll do the same for this one. Then back in with lavender and go ahead and fill this in. Next going in with purple lake, we're going to make a start on this sort of edge of the boat. So what I'm going to do is make this sort of darker than the rest of the boat. So purple lake is a little bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill this in using normal pressure. And then I'm going to use the black to add some shadow to this. So it's going to really darken this up. So I'll just go ahead and fill this all in. Then going in with our black pencil, we're going to add some shade to this. So again, I'm going to darken up this top section here, like this edge. And then we'll add some to this edge here as well. And then I'm going to darken up where the post joins to the top. And just a little bit down the right hand side. So I'll do the same for this, so just sort of darken up the edges. And then where it 
joins to the top rim. And then just down the right hand side. So again here we'll darken up this edge and this edge and then the top and the right hand side do the same here And the same for this little piece up here. Okay guys, so that's how it's looking so far. So I'm gonna leave this video here. So I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.